Okay, so we've built our um, <clears throat> table and we've got our set here. I'm just going to um, actually uh, return to object mode for our table uh, and I'm going to create a layer for it. So I'm going down, down into the layer editor to layers, create empty layer. That creates a layer called layer one. I double click on that and I call that table geometry. And I click save. Uh, and now I can right click on that and go to add selected objects and that will add the table which is selected we know it's selected because it's highlighted green and that will add the table to the layer so now if I turn this little V symbol off no table in the layer editor okay so uh, let's actually just for now let's turn off the wall and the geometry and let's move the table onto the grid so uh, let's just check where the pivot point is if I press W okay so the pivot point is now just below the head of the table uh, or the, the top of the table but what we want to do is I want to go insert and then I'm gonna grid snap this holding down X I'm gonna grid snap this to the bottom of the table and actually let me just go to panels orthographic side view to make sure that we've snapped it to the right place and yes there we go the uh, insert uh, the pivot point is now snapped to uh, the bottom of the grid just like the table legs so now I'm going to hit insert again and we return to where we were except that now the pivot point of the table is at its base so now in in W in move mode which we can also select up here I'm now going to, again holding down the X key, uh, snap the table to the top of the grid. So if I turn on the floor and the geometry, the table should now be sitting directly on the floor. So this is basically how you model a set. Now this isn't the most wonderful table of all time. But let's try and make it look a little bit more like a real table by, um, for example, uh, let's um, actually let's turn off the uh, wall and the floor uh, and let's uh, right click on it and go to vertex and what we can do is we can select half of these vertices and we can actually stay on the grid we can keep snapping them to the grid to anywhere we want on the grid uh, and move it so we can make this thing really any size we like and we can keep it uh, the same relative to itself if you like uh, by uh, holding down the X key so we we keep snapping it to the grid and now if I go back to select the main object mode I can see we've got a table now that's a this is a very simple um, oh we seem to have lost a um, an edge loop How have I done that um, somehow or other I've, I've an edge loop has gone missing there um, uh, not quite sure how that's happened uh, but we can always um, put it back again. Um, I can go to Edit Mesh, Insert, Edge Loop, and then if I click here, that will put that edge loop back um, where it was. And now if I, if I left click on Vertex and press 4, uh, that should be pretty good. And I can always. Um, um, make sure whoops no I'm sorry I, I'm going to Z that out I didn't want to be I want to be in the main uh, move tool otherwise I'm still in the edge loop tool and um, uh, I've probably got two CVs here now I've probably got uh, or I pr probably rather got um, uh, two um, uh, two vertices so I'm just going to select that and go edit mesh merge to merge those vertices and actually if I go under display we can see how many vertices there are under heads up display poly count um, if I I can select these vertices here okay so there are in fact two there um, which I don't really want so edit mesh merge will take care of that edit mesh okay just one vertices there and let's just go to the other side 
there are two there so edit mesh merge and whoops and the others all look to be oh there's two there edit mesh merge okay so um, <clears throat> back to uh, pressing five back to gray shades and now we're, we've got something that looks a little bit more like a table um, now one thing we can do to make this slightly more um, uh, like a real object is to bevel it um, and you'll notice that this object has very very sharp edges so we might want to add some kind of a bevel to these surfaces and I'll show you how to do that so I'm going to go back to object mode um, and then I'm going to go to select edge loop tool um, and then actually we want to right click here so we go to edges and then double click there and that will create an edge loop and if I shift click here I should be able to double click there and again shift double click and again shift double click and that will create an edge loop or that will highlight an edge loop all the way around the top of the table and if now if I now go to edit mesh uh, bevel I'm just going to open up the options box on that and I'm going to go to edit reset settings and then hit uh, actually I'll put width down to 0.2 and then click bevel and that's what you get we're now getting a slightly beveled edge to the table and I can go down I think the 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 offset of 0.2 is too much so if I go down to 0.1 I get a slightly more reasonable kind of bevel there on that table edge and we can do that uh, on all of the um, uh, all the way through we can do that on all of these uh, legs so I can go back to uh, uh, select select edge loop tool um, and uh, double click here um, and that's take that selected a uh, uh, an edge loop running down here if I want it to go on a bit longer I can I can hold down the shift key and then select that there and now go to edit mesh bevel again let's open up the options box take that down to point one since that seems to be working and click bevel and now I get a little bevel there running down the edge of the table actually let's try the offset of point two okay that's possibly slightly nicer and you can do that um, all the way through so that's basically how you create um, simple uh, objects in um, uh, in um, in Maya now let's say we wanted to um, uh, let's say we wanted to make a window in our very simple set um, we could um, uh, we could um, there's a very very simple way that we can create a window here um, uh, this is not by any means high-tech modeling but all we have to do is, is right click uh, go to face um, and then shift select the faces where we want our window to go like that uh, and then simply press delete on your keyboard and bingo if I dolly around we can now see in through the window now bear in mind that this wall has no thickness at all so it doesn't look massively realistic but um, now we've created a little window and we could go ahead and create some little props um, and little things for our set if we wanted to those are there's our um, <clears throat> our walls our table and our set and our window uh, and I'm going to record one more video to uh, create a few very very basic props to go in our set.